how should we be thinking about the metaverse in relation to other immersive technologies like VR and AR? But also, what role do connectivity technologies like 5G and Wi-Fi play in enabling the metaverse? Yeah, a metaverse is this ever-present spatial internet um, that fuses the virtual and the physical worlds where everyone and everything can virtually you know, connect and interact with each other. And in that sense, VR and AR and even cloud gaming are sort of integral components of this broader metaverse umbrella. And you asked about 5G and Wi-Fi. Indeed, uh, both are core technologies to make the metaverse work. Uh, Wi-Fi uh, is great for connecting the AR glasses to the phone uh, via Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi 6. And then 5G is, is uh, really the technology over the longer term if you want to have ubiquitous metaverse or virtual reality or augmented reality working anywhere. Uh, then 5G enables um, a direct connection between the AR or VR glasses all the way to uh, the cloud edge server. Um, and 5G continues to make uh, a lot of improvements in lower power, lower latency, and also improving the system capacity with each passing generation. And all that is going to contribute to making um, um, a wide scale deployment of, of XR. And you mentioned cloud gaming in passing there a little bit. So what lessons can we kind of take away or learn from cloud gaming as an architecture as we enable the metaverse moving forward? Uh, yeah, the architecture to enable cloud gaming is highly leverageable for the metaverse. For example, the whole concept of split rendering, wherein um, the, the whole processing is sort of divided between on-device as well as high-performance uh, servers in the cloud. Uh, is going to be highly leverageable. Concepts uh, such as you know having requiring a low latency, high performance, high capacity 5G connection between the cloud and the edge is also highly leverageable uh, for the broader metaverse. Uh, and concepts like motion to render the photon or controller to render the photon, where, wherein the whole um, goal is to keep this uh, controller to render the photon uh, latencies as low as possible. And leveraging uh, you know, technologies like 5G to make that happen is going to be key. And what are some of the things that Qualcomm is doing to enable the metaverse? Yes, on the device, uh, of, like of course, we have uh, the best in class 5G and Wi Fi modems, uh, which guarantee uh, low latency and then low power performance. In addition, on device processing, such as perception processing, and on top of that, we have APIs that connect the modem to the application. Uh, and as an example, there are APIs that enable applications to interface much more closely with the modem. For example, to take care of the dynamically changing 5G RF environments and then radio conditions, uh, enabling uh, applications to dynamically adapt to that uh, and to give a very seamless uh, you know, end user experience. So all these are going to be very key, uh, key, key things to enable the metaverse, and Qualcomm is playing a very significant role. Great. Thanks for taking the time to uh, tell me more about the metaverse and what Qualcomm is doing to help it along. Well, thank you for having me. Thank you.